Daddy, you in your backyard. I'm trying to find it. We'll head around to all the towns. Head away, holiday. Come with us, we'll take you around. South Aussie with Cozzy. Welcome to another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. This episode is special. I'm here in Campbelltown at the Moonlight Market. I'm going to show you around this place later on. But I'm here because it's Campbelltown's 150th birthday. I actually used to live in Campbelltown, so to be able to dedicate a whole episode to showing you guys all the cool things to do around the Campbelltown area is like super cool. Now it is a birthday party, and you can only start a birthday party with plenty of good music. Take it away, Andy! <laughs> This is St. Bernard's Road right here in the heart of McGill. And you look at this place and you think, well, that's just a house. Uh, 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 you'd be wrong. You'd be a fool to think it's just a house. It's actually a biscuit factory. And it has been churning out South Australian made biscuits for 50 years. That's like five decades of biscuits coming out of this joint. Now, I didn't get on The Biggest Loser eating apples, folks. Biscuits are my forte. Let's go and have a look. Continental Torelli Biscuits is a family business. We specialise in Torelli, so it's like an Italian pretzel. It started by my father. Mr. Giovanni Visioni and uh, by his wife Anna Visioni. Thank you very much. Thank you. Even though it's been 50 years, they're still in the production and he's still baking, he still gets up quite early in the morning. His passion is his customers and he loves manufacturing biscuits for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> can you name me one famous person to come out of Campbelltown? Helen can. Well, possibly the most famous person to come out of the Campbelltown area was Sir Sidney Kidman, who was a famous pastoralist, and he was an icon of his era. People remember him as the Cattle King. At his height, he owned 3% um, of the entire continent of Australia. Um, so he was extremely wealthy, but he was born here in Merivale Road, Athelston, in 1857. Welcome back, folks. This is the Campbelltown Moonlight Market. It only happens four times a year. I'm here for a very special reason, because Campbelltown is 150 years old. Now, you can't have a birthday party without cake, so these cakes are from Sweet and Petite. Uh, this is Danielle, and isn't she exactly that, by the way, folks? Um, she only makes these cakes for the Moonlight Market. Very exclusive. Right, I will talk more about the Moonlight Markets later on. First up, let's touch on the history of Campbelltown. Well, one of the Campbelltown icons is Chummy Austin, who was the last known bullocky in the city of Adelaide. It's one of those professions you don't think of progressing into the 20th century. He was a working bullocky up until 1948. It must have been a magical sight to see these huge beasts at work. I used to actually live in Campbelltown, so I thought I'd better dedicate a whole episode to showing you guys around Campbelltown and the history of this place. Now behind me is a place that is ginormous. It's just on Lower North East Road and it's called the Ark. What's inside the Ark? Well like Noah's Ark, there is practically everything. It's just not two of everything because there's three swimming pools, but I'll show you around anyway. <laughs> Look, it's a great community facility, so whether you want to swim, run, jog, work out, we've got something for everybody here. Now, nah, mate, where you're going wrong is you've got to be using whey protein. Like, you, you, you won't get these results with what you're doing, but just keep at it, and seriously, mate, one day you'll get there. Good luck, OK? We're a full-service gym, so we've got a staff member on hand at all times. We also offer personal training, group fitness, and a whole range of outdoor programs, boot camps, and that sort of stuff. a lot of our uh, swimming lessons go on. Uh, we use both pools, so we have our splash pad area and then we have our main pool around the corner as well. Yeah, so there was like two of them and I just put my arms around both. I had to swim 20 metres back to shore. Oh, both of them would have drowned. I saved their lives, you know. 
Oh, I'll let you go, mate. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, anyway, this is inside the Ark swimming pool. Behind me, a 25 metre pool with eight lanes. Uh, and over this side, it's kind of more the kids section. What I love is that all of their pools have got this. It's like wheelchair access. And it's great if you're elderly uh, and maybe you need a rail to walk down into the swimming pool. I think that's really, really cool. This area is just buzzing. In fact, this whole area is just a hive of activity. It's really, really good. We offer acrobics here uh, for a range of uh, people from elderly uh, to young as well. So we, we modify the classes for whoever's in the class. So uh, we run them almost every day of the week. When it comes to basketball, we've got a five court stadium, two function areas that overlook the basketball courts, two show courts that are to international standard, and uh, a whole range of varied uses netball, volleyball, badminton, indoor bowls. At the moment, we've got the North Basketball Club juniors warming up for a game. Happy birthday, Campbell Town! Should we give it one more go? When the kids are playing basketball or whatever, parents can relax in the cafe. We've got a whole great range of coffees, teas, and most of our produce is local from the local suppliers in Campbelltown. Campbelltown is full of surprises, including this place here in the heart of Campbelltown on Lower North East Road. It's called Mikado, and I'm trying to explain what it is and what's actually inside this place. It's got everything. It's like a cafe, a bar. It's got loads and loads of small goods. I just can't believe how many different types there are. It's practically like a cheese shop as well. It's got its own liquor store and it's even got like homewares. It is like about 10,000 things rolled into one. I guess, Mikado, you would describe it as basically your chance to discover the flavours of Italy. This is Mercato. My husband and I started Continental Shop in 1973 on St. Bernard's Road. And we've had a few shops because we used to work seven days a week straight. The first shop we had, nobody knew about the Italian food. And there was no supermarkets. We educated the Australians with the olive oil, with the prosciutto, with this. But now everybody uses there. Our fresh pasta, we do it every Monday. There's four ladies usually we do it here. And you can buy fresh pasta every Monday. Lots of time we get customers, they're fascinated by it and they said, oh, can we watch or can we, and we let them come in and uh, help, like just this young lady did. Yeah. First you have to make the dough and then you have to make the shape that you want the pasta to be. One thing we're famous for is our pizza. Our pizza is a 48 hour dough which was made by mother yeast, so it takes longer to rise. And when you eat it, it's not as heavy on you. Now, Sophie, whereabouts are you from? I'm from Victoria. From Victoria? How's that Grand Prix going? Is it going all right? Yeah. Yeah, you stole that from us, but it was before your days, so don't worry about that. Hey, so how have you found today? What have you been doing? I've been helping these girls make some pasta. Buy lots of Italian stuff and you can make stuff. Alright, put it here, cowgirl. Put it, put it, put it here. Like put it here, like, yeah. Okay. Mercato means the market in Italiano. Well, I have to admit that I come here every day and I love the coffee, it's great, and I really like the staff. That's why we last so long, 40 years in the business. I love the job and I love the people. Give the people good food, good service, and you can't go wrong.
Welcome back, folks. We are celebrating Campbelltown's 150th birthday. This area is just off the charts. There is so much to see and do here, including this. It is the Moonlight Markets here at Campbelltown. It only happens four times a year. It's super, super special. I'll tell you some good things about it. They get about 10,000 people here. It's totally free to come here. And if you don't rock up and have a bit of a sticky beak at it, then you can't say you're in the Campbelltown area. This place is gold. right, -o, girls? Let's go and have a look. After you. Approximately 100 stalls, and that's a range of craft products, clothes, candles, and food. You find cheeses, cheese manufacturers, biscuits, wineries. It showcases our Italian culture. It's free to come in, and so we have families, we have older people, children. There's lots of free craft activities for the kids to play with as well. And it's free to come down and just enjoy, and sit and have a drink or some food, and wander the stalls. In the background, the Campbelltown Community Art House are doing their thing. They're painting a massive mural in front of the crowd. But what I love even more than that is this. It's free art classes for the kids. So they're showing the kids of Campbelltown how to be better artists. Have a look at them. Campbelltown is community to me. Uh, there's just such a, an amazing support for everything that we do out here. And they, we put things on and people come. I've just bumped into something that I didn't even know existed. This is the Athelston Community Garden. These community gardens are a great concept. It pretty much works like this. You find an area in your council area or your country town that's previously not really used for anything, then you set up these garden beds and you invite the community and the kids of the community in to run their own little veggie patches. It's such a good idea. It's opening up dead spaces. And here at Athelston, this one is just literally growing and growing and growing. The Athelson Community Gardens at Padulisi Park, so we're just off Maryvale Road. It's a small garden, we've been going for about two and a half years. It's a chance for the community to get together, share knowledge, garden, have fun. Uh, community Garden's perfect for this region because Campbelltown's got such a rich history of market gardening. They were world leaders in celery at one stage, and so we've even got some celery growing. In the 1920s and 30s in particular, it was so important to the area that the original Campbelltown crest actually featured a man carrying celery over his shoulder. It was the mainstay of the economy for many years and the farmers in paradise actually bred their own variety, which was famous for its large size and its uh, whiteness and straightness. Campbelltown's a very open area, a lot of uh, open spaces, a lot of um, interesting people here from a wide a variety of backgrounds, a lot of Greek and Italian immigrants, so we've got a strong heritage of gardening and market gardening here. Yeah, great place to live, get outdoors. What about you ladies, now how old are you guys? I'm 9 turning 10 in March and 7 turning 8. So you boys come down here how often? Uh, about two or three times a week. What do you love about it? Um, we just love the playground, the big oval and especially all the plants in the garden. What do you have to do in the garden? What are some of your jobs? So, um, one is just watering. Yep. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> Helping planting stuff. Um, because you get all mucky and as a kid you just love that stuff and yep. everything. Yep. I saw you doing some fertilizer. Were you fertilizing over there? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. You might have to put some fertilizer on your head. Only half of the hair's growing. What's going on here? At first I was thinking to just um, have a one on the sides and back and yep. four at the top. Mm. But then I wanted to um, keep having it long. Because yeah. I like, because I, um, I just like that fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's working as well, which is good. I love the Athelson Community Garden because it's a great place to meet people, to learn about growing things, learn about cooking all the stuff that we grow and just be a, a part of the wider community. Well, most of our members will say they've lived here for a long time, but in the two and a bit years we've been going, we've met more of our neighbours, get together, um, learn from each other, great healthy produce, and time out in the sun's always good. 
Packer family were one of the mainstays of the celery industry and they were the last operating celery farm on Lower North East Road right next to the Campbelltown Memorial Oval right up into the 1980s. They employed a number of people including many of the Italian migrants. Mr Diono, for example, used to work for the Packers in Athelston and he had to live in the canvas tent on the banks of the Torrens for seven years to earn enough money to bring his family out. And so the life was pretty tough. Sound pausing with Carzy. Sound pausing with Carzy. Campbelltown is 150 years old, so I'm showing you around and teaching you some things that you might not actually associate with Campbelltown. Well, a lot of people don't associate uh, Campbelltown particularly with vineyards. When they think of vineyards, they think of Penfolds and Aldana and the Burnside Council area. But of course, Campbelltown used to be a patchwork of vineyards, both large and small. And now we're recognised as being very close to the city of the Adelaide, where in the past we was, Campbelltown was seen as the country and a long, long way out. Campbelltown also boasts one of the best libraries in South Australia. Well, Campbelltown Library is a very community-oriented library. There's something for everyone. We make everybody welcome. We have uh, about 125 volunteers at this stage, and they give us between 800 and 900 hours every month, which is enormous. One cheeky monkey swinging in a tree. She's a Mr. Crocodile. We run story time five days a week. So the children come in, they have a great time. We read books, we do a bit of early phonics, and then we do craft time together. There is so much to do in the library. Well, we have um, many programs running. All of our programs are free, uh, most of them in term time, and all of them in school holidays. People who think they're too busy to read to their children aren't too busy to pop their children in front of the television. Really, you could take that time and make that a time where you together discover a book together. And that benefits them, it benefits you, and it brings you together as a family. It'll change their lives. So read every day, read to your children. I think I've just struck parenting and grandparenting gold. Right, for years and years and years, I have wasted literally thousands of dollars on toys. I've just discovered that here at the Campbelltown Library, there's actually a toy library. So that means you can borrow stuff like this horse here and all of this gear here. You can just rock up and you can borrow gear and you don't even have to pay for it. To be a member is only like $2 a month. You can come here, you can choose five items, you can take them away for two weeks, return them whenever you want, even before the two weeks, and away you go. Now, you give me the next 90 seconds of your time. I'm going to show you the top three reasons why this place is going to save you loads of cash. Coming in at number three is free costume hire. They've got racks of costumes that you can bring the kids in, try them on and take them. So think of the money you would save there. Whenever it's book week or a special event or Halloween, we spend heaps of money buying our kids costumes. Here you don't have to do it. Rock up, borrow them and bring them back the next day. It's awesome. Do you guys have a nurse's outfit that would fit a 37 year old woman? The main thing with the toy library is that if you purchase a toy and then your child might play with it for a week and then never play with it ever again, so you've really wasted your money purchasing something that is sitting around your house and not being used. My number two reason has got to be the fact that it's toys big and small. Like you can borrow toys this size. Who can be bothered buying toys like this? They're so expensive when you can borrow them here for free. It's really cool. Oh, it's actually my turn now. It's my turn. Can I have a go? Thanks, mate. Thanks. Do you find this place saves you lots of money? Yes, a lot. <laughs> if I am a mom, I need maybe I need to buy a lot of toys for him. But now I only pay like uh, twenty dollars something. You can change every day and uh, let my kids to play a lot of different toys. Quite often I come under a little bit of scrutiny for my average ideas, but this one's a good one. This is the number one reason why you should join the Campbelltown Toy Library. It's because you can come here and borrow board games for free. The 
Swallow is perfect for grandparents, mainly because they can use it as an outing for when they're looking after their grandchildren. They can borrow toys and take them home that day, and then if they might not have the children for another week, they can return the toys the next day. They don't have the toys hanging around their house, and then if they want to have them again the next week, they can come in and it's like a whole new exciting day out. It's my old suburb, Campbelltown. You know I love Campbelltown so much that I actually teamed up with my buddy Sam Mack to write a song about it. You ready? Let's go. Gotta make a move to the suburb that's right for me. Talking about a place with a big Italian community. Buongiorno. Uh, hi. Lower North East is the main road you see. We're singing this be quiet because we're near the town library. Shh, sorry. Hectorville and Newton are the suburbs right next to me. Hey, isn't there lots of retirement villages there as well? Yeah, yeah. And stacks of nursing homes, the average age is 83. Well, I talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Gotta move in. Won't, Won't you, you take, take me, me to, to Campbell Town? Won't you take me to Campbell Town? In Italian. I voglio andare a Campbell Town. I voglio andare. Sadly, that's all we've got time for. I have had a ball celebrating Campbelltown's 150th birthday, and it is one of the coolest areas you're likely to come across. So, here's the website, find something in Campbelltown and do it. See you next time. We'll head around to all the towns. Head away, holiday. South Aussie with Cozzy is proudly brought to you by the South Australian Tourism Commission. South Aussie with Cozzy. I like pushums.